What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy LB and welcome back to my new tutorial video. Guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this color grading in Adobe. Here we're going to use two software. So now I'm going to create the color grading in Adobe Photoshop. I have to import it in Adobe Premiere Pro and I just add some things, few little bits, some saturation, contrast, something like that. But in the color grading, it's gonna be created in Adobe Photoshop. So guys, stick around. Okay guys, so now I'm going to start it by here, Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you see here, this is, I have some different clips here in my, in my timeline. So the things I have to do, I'm, I'm going to pick the image which I'm going to use for making this light. Okay, so now here I can find the best image that I can use. So maybe, let me use this one because it has lots it has some more colors the blue green yellow bright and etc okay more than those one okay so now let me talk this frame so now i have to come here and then i export the frame export frame or you can use ctrl shift plus e so now let me click on it and you have to make sure this format must be gpeg okay so now here you can rename any name you want so let me call it like yes image yeah okay so and then here you have to browse where the image will be saved okay so now my image will be saved on desktop and then i press okay so now guys after exporting this image so now i'm gonna jump in adobe photoshop for creating that lat so now here there is adobe photoshop so now and i'm going to open up this image okay so this is my image is so guys as you see it is opened in adobe photoshop camera low so i have to open up in adobe photoshop as default okay so now like this so and guys as you see here this is the layer of my image must be background do not change into layer zero so you must have background same as like this okay so now and i have to come back here on this icon you click here on it and then go here on channel mixer okay because i just want to change this grace okay so now and i have to choose red okay so for this red here i have red the green and the blue so now for this grid i have to put it zero and this green let me increase to one uh, up 200 yes like this and then for the blue i have, I have to put it like minus 100 yes this is nice and then so now you click on this channel mixer go here on normal and then choose this light end okay so this is nice guys you see how my image is this grass is already changed okay there is no other things which i want okay so now if you want also I, you can go here on this icon again then you go on selective tool so here you can add like just a small red like this okay and then let me increase this can you see guys for this this sky and then this blue okay so now you can increase these cans okay but for this it is not necessary i will increase other colors when i get in adobe premiere pro so now after getting these two channel mix and selective color the things i have to do and i'm going to export this setting as lat go here on file and then you click here export and then come back here for this color lookup table means lat okay so now you click on it and then you have to make sure this cube is enough maybe you can see all things is enough like this okay so now you have to make sure this cube is enabled so now you press ok and then let me call it as lat let me call it like ps for example and then you click save okay so now my lat is already saved on desktop so now let me come back here on this premiere pro so as uh, as you see i have more clips so that reason why i'm going to create an adjustment layer okay so now let me go here on new item and go adjustment layer and then you press ok so now let me drag it let me drop it here for this timeline okay so and i'm going to import my lat okay so there is other way for 
go on color workspace without go here on editing on color workspace okay so now go here on these double arrows and then go here on effect and then let me search the color the color like this yes you see this lumetri color and then I have to drag this lumetri color and then i drop it here on this timeline yes for this adjustment layer so now let me open up this basic correction and i'm going to import my lads okay so now i have to browse it where i have been saved and uh, see on desktop when you click on it you see guys how this lad is so guys if it is this is not enough i can increase some other colors so for giving them like contrast saturation something like this okay so now you have to let this adjustment layer so this adjustment there it is for lot okay so there i'm going to create the, the second adjustment layer okay yes you see this is adjustment layer so i have to create another second adjustment layer and they have to move it here on the top okay so now let me go here on the color workspace okay so here i can increase like contrast like this something like this so let me try to extend my program monitor and let me see how it is okay here i can increase like a contrast like this guys and then here i can have reduce this temperature in this way here on my clip there is some big highlight so here i can decrease like highlight in this way like this and then let me increase the black yes something like this okay so let me close this basic question so i can increase the saturation of these other colors like blue yes black and other ones okay you see how it is okay so let me open up these curves okay so let me choose this color you see it is blue so i can pick the whole blue yes yeah in general so i have to move it up like this okay yes so and then let me go here on over so yes when i increase this you see how this color is looking man this is this color is looking nice okay so here you can increase the saturation of it okay even for this first clip you see how the things is so this is before yeah this is after and so let me go here on this hoover's luma and i can move it down to give them yes something like deep yes smooth thick yes yeah you understand okay so and maybe there is some blue okay so now let me give the black like the hard contrast yes yeah, give it them like this this is too much yeah, this is nice okay so now let me click on lead because i just want to give like green some green here on these shadows okay in the black okay so now i have to move down this red as a few bit. you see guys how this red is changed okay so where without this red you see how this is before okay so when i give them like your stuffs okay few color you see what happens okay you see it looks nice even here yes this is nice guys okay so and let me open up this hcla so for this hcla about the skin tone you see guys it is you see even the tree is already affected because it has the same color with the skin tone but there is no problem so the things i have to do they have to select yes my skin tone okay and let me smooth this feel a little bit so here i can give the color yes i want i can give them like bright yes brightness so this is this is looks good okay so this is looks nice guys okay so now this is 
before so uh, this is the full original clip without the lat so when after importing this lat this is what will happen so and then after adding other colors so like contrast and saturation this is what i get guys this is looks good so this is how i create this lat inside photoshop and premiere pro thank you guys if you like my video you see how the things it is if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe drop the comment down below i just want to know what you think leave your thumbs up like share yes you know that to get yes something looks good man so see you in next video peace